2023 Suzuki G Sax R600 Review, exploring the timeless charisma of a classic sport bike. The realm of traditional 600 cubic centimeters inline four sport bikes is diminishing, making way for models with fewer cylinders, resulting in a less intricate production process. Kevin Cameron, highlighting the shift, Note Suzuki's embrace of the trend with its 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin featured in the G6, 8S Naked Bike and 800 DE Adventure Bike, with the G6. 8 are on the horizon. However, Suzuki's four-cylinder sport bike lineup hasn't vanished yet. The mid-weight sport bike category is now witnessing the integration of twin-cylinder engines tailored for public roads rather than racetracks, aligning with the prevailing trend seen in Yamaha's YZF. R7. Amid the introduction of Suzuki's G6, 8 are parallel twin and the declining allure of super sport racing, questions arise about the relevance of the G6 R600. In an era dominated by sophisticated electronics, TFT displays, throttle by wire, intrusive ABS, and altered geometry, the 2023 Suzuki G6 R600. $11,699 remains pertinent while resisting conformity to contemporary norms. Staying true to its platform since the significant overhaul in 2011, this Japanese middleweight sport bike continues to be a favorite among racers, stunt riders, and enthusiasts alike. Its charm lies in its unadulterated nature, a mechanical throttle, a straightforward dash, absence of electronic interventions, and a familiar 599 cubic centimeters in line for. The G6 R600 is only constrained by the rider's capabilities. Featuring a liquid-cooled 599 cubic centimeters DOHC four-cylinder engine encased in a twin-spar aluminum alloy frame with fully adjustable suspension, it incorporates Showa's race-developed big piston fork and a single shock for optimal performance on both track and road. Braking efficiency is achieved through radial-mounted four-piston Brembo monoblock calipers with 310mm discs on the front end and a single-piston Nissan caliper at the rear. The Suzuki Drive Mode Selector SD -MES, is the lone switchable electronic feature, offering two maps for road or track conditions. On CW's Dynojet 250i dynamometer, the g sex our 600 displayed 102.9 horsepower at 13,520 RPM and 44.0 pound FT of torque at 11,580 RPM. While its middleweight inline four characteristics produce peak power in the top end, the softer bottom end torque is advantageous for smooth and consistent linear pulls during commuting. To maximize performance, maintain high RPM, especially on twisty roads, where the G-Sex R600 excels after 8,000 RPM, delivering usable power up to its 15,000 RPM redline. Engaging the six-speed gearbox and embracing the rev limiter prove effective in navigating tight, switchback sections. When confronted with a sufficiently extended road segment necessitating a gear shift, the precise and responsive six-speed gearbox facilitates seamless transitions achieved effortlessly without the clutch, merely a swift release of the throttle. The absence of a quick shifter contributes to Suzuki's unfiltered allure. Similarly, the consistent power delivery after the apex eliminates any concerns arising from the absence of traction control. This characteristic holds true on the racetrack. If the revs dip into the lower half of the decometer, the 599 cubic centimeters inline four on the G-Sex R600 can adversely impact the rider's lap times. According to former AMA superbike racer and CW test rider Chris Siebenhar, the G-Sex R600 starts finding its stride and exhibits a smooth, steady pull in the upper RPM. The dyno graph succinctly illustrates this phenomenon. Below 8,000 RPM, the g sex R600 exhibits modest power and torque. The curve maintains linearity, delivering a smooth engine response when accelerating from a standstill. However, beyond the mid-range, this middleweight sport bike truly comes alive. While peaking at 102.9 horsepower, the g sex R600 may not be a powerhouse, but its high-revving nature and consistent power distribution offer the rider an expansive RPM range in the upper spectrum. Ideal for navigating corners in canyons or on the racetrack. Ergonomics further underscore the bike's purpose, aside from its engine characteristics. 
As a conventional sport bike heavily influenced by track performance, comfort on the street is sacrificed. The rider triangle is compact, positioning the rider over the front of the motorcycle. During commutes, riders inevitably find themselves sitting upright and shifting back on the bike, occasionally needing to remove their left hand from the handlebar to alleviate any discomfort. In the twists and turns, where the road constantly shifts from left to right, these aggressive ergonomics demand more effort, requiring the rider to transition from one side of the bike to the other. At street speeds, there's a temptation to envy the wide bars and upright seating position enjoyed by naked bike riders. While the Gixxer 600's ergonomics reward the rider when leaning off the bike on long sweeping corners, quick transitions reveal that the clip-on handlebars necessitate additional effort. On winding mountain roads, the Suzuki G6, our 600 suspension settings prove dynamic, causing noticeable jostling for the rider as every bump on the road is accentuated. However, upon tweaking the compression damping, the G6R swiftly gains more confidence at the front end. This adjustment allows the front wheel to smoothly trace the contours of the ground, minimizing feedback into the chassis. During hard braking in the intense zones following a fast straight, the fork's increased drop into the stroke adds weight to the front end, enhancing front tire grip and maximizing braking potential without relying on ABS. Similar outcomes are observed on the racetrack. According to Siebes, suspension on the g sex R600 is firm and supportive from the time you apply the brakes all the way through the corner. While the Suzuki demands some rider effort for corner setup, once leaned into a turn, it stays grounded and exhibits stability until the exit. Siebenhar elaborated, it is planted, stable, and diminishes some of the rider's movements. Through fast bends, the Suzuki maintains a straight trajectory, smoothly bending into corners. Despite the Suzuki G6, our 600 being considered somewhat antiquated compared to newer models like the recently updated 2024 Kawasaki Ninja ZX 6R, its unrefined charm remains its allure. Technological advancements in motorcycles are undoubtedly positive, enhancing safety and allowing riders to personalize their bikes with various gadgets. However, the increasing number of safety features and interventions is diluting the analog experiences that make motorcycling unique. Siebenhar expressed his appreciation for the Suzuki's row riding experience, stating, My favorite thing about the Suzuki is the raw feeling of the riding experience, starting with the motor. It feels like there is more connection from the throttle to the rear wheel. Just as car enthusiasts now lament the dwindling availability of manual transmissions, the Suzuki G6 R600 stands as a similar testament. Its absence of updates and cutting-edge technology is precisely what contributes to its enjoyable ride. Transitioning from a bike laden with modern technology to one that has essentially remained unchanged since 2011 reintroduces the direct connection between rider and machine, free from the interventions of IMUs and wheel sensors. Shifting gears, managing traction, and precisely applying the throttle on the 2023 Suzuki G6, our 600 create a captivating and satisfying riding experience. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.